Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. So back with another question, and this is a concept which was in IGCSE for a very long time, but now has been added in O-level math as well. So as always, I encourage you guys to pause this video, try this question yourself. Do not use a calculator, and leave your answer in the comment section because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. Let's go. Write the recurring decimal 0.27 as a fraction. Now notice that there is a dot on two and there is a dot on seven. What does that mean? Well, that means that the recurring pattern or the repeating repeating pattern looks like this, that there's two, seven, two, seven, two, seven, and the same pattern continues, okay? So there is a pretty standard rule of how to convert a recurring decimal to a fraction. And the idea is this. So first understand the idea and then we'll see how it works. The idea is that we're gonna form two numbers by basically taking the original decimal, multiplying it by either 10, 100, any power of 10, and we're gonna make two numbers so that upon subtracting the two numbers, the recurring decimal part gets eliminated. So keep that in mind and keeping that in mind, let's see how it works. So remember this pattern will continue forever. So I'm gonna call this X, okay? Now, since the recurring pattern is of two numbers, 272727, if I multiply X by 100, which is gonna be 100X, I will get 27, 0.2727 and then the same pattern will continue, okay? Now pause and think for, uh, I mean not literally, but like let's stop and think for a second that what will happen if I subtract the two numbers. So 27.272727 minus 0.272727 means that the recurring pattern will be eliminated. So that's what I'm going to do. 100x minus x basically means that 27.2727 seven the pattern continues forever minus x which is going to be 0 0.272727 once again the pattern continues forever so if I subtract the two upon subtracting the two I will be simply left with 27 and what is that equal to in terms of x that is basically equal to 99x now remember you just want the fractional value of this decimal which is technically equal to x now all you got to do is make x the subject whoops that was not supposed to happen. So x equals to 27 over 99. Now is this as simplified as it can get? Of course not. We can simplify 27 and 99 using the table of 3. So 3 into 9 is 27 and 3. Actually you know what we can do better than that. We can simplify using the table of 9. So 9 times 3 is 27 and 9 times 11 is 99 and there you go 3 over 11 is the decimal value of 0 0.272727 i hope you also got the same answer if you did leave this emoji and that's it for this one i'll see you in the next one take care Bye bye